Hello everyone, I am Mecha Random 42 your favorite YouTube harpy. So we have a little bit of a, an extended deleted scene here released. And it explains a little bit about how Gamora slipped away. Well, I mean, there were so many people there at this big fight at Endgame that, yeah, they, they all... It's like Clue, you know? It's one of those things you have to kind of go back and watch. And, and of course, the, the blu ray is coming out soon. I only saw this once, so some of this is a little foggy for me. But uh, according to CBR and, and all over Twitter, extended scene from Avengers Endgame answered a major fan question. What happened to Gamora after the final climatic battle against Thanos? Turns out she slipped away while the other heroes paid their respects to Tony Stark. The extended scene released by USA Today takes place moments after Stark died in Pepper Potts' arms. The camera pulls back to reveal the other heroes who start to realize what's happened. After a moment, Hawkeye drops to his knee, Black Panther follows, and Captain Marvel soon. The other he heroes kneel before him to pay their respects to his sacrifice. So here, we're going to kind of flip through it. We're not going to really just play it. It's just, so, it's just so you guys can kind of see. I really wish they would have left this in, because the movie for me was a little meh in a few places. It was, it was sad. It was a bummer. And it kind of needed to be. And that was one of its strengths and weaknesses for me. Because that's exactly where it needed to be. It needed to be a bummer. It needed to be a downer. It needed to kind of give, give us some closure. It needed to... We, we needed to mourn and have hope. I didn't get a lot of hope out of it. And that was kind of part of it. I also didn't really get to mourn and weep like I think I would have expected in something like this. Because I, I had already set up in my head that, like, okay, Robert Downey Jr. is probably not coming back, and Chris Evans is probably not coming back. So, yeah, I already kind of had it in my head that they were probably leaving and not coming back for another movie, and we were probably going to lose them and say goodbye here for Infinity War. I already had that kind of conclusion, and I was a, I was a little bit of a, a oh, oh, they survived. Oh, well, they'll die in the next one then. So I've had years to kind of come to terms with it. I think if we saw this, yeah, and, and I, I, just, I don't like how long it takes her to, to bend the knee, too. She's like, fine, if I have to. I think if we saw this, if we saw all the heroes and had a little bit more time and then saw Gamora, right, I think it would have been a little more impactful. Plus, you know, you, you have those little loose ends. Wrap up your loose ends movie. You're a billion-dollar franchise. Each movie makes about a billion dollars. You could have wrapped up some of your loose ends a little better. But yeah, what, what do you guys think? Should have this should have this stayed? I think that should have stayed. I think that should have stayed because that was a little more impactful and a little more interesting. When the camera cuts to Demora, she does not kneel. Instead, she takes in the scene, turns around, and walks off while everyone else is distracted. Which I think we needed to see. We needed to see that. Since the scene was cut from the film, it is unclear if this is considered canon. However, it suggests Gamora survived Tony's snap, even though it decimated the rest of Thanos' forces. It also implies Peter Quill will be seeking a pre-Guardians of the Galaxy, Gamora in Volume 3. Did they bend, Did they actually show any of them bend the knee in the movie? I don't even remember. Because, like, like I said, it was kind of a meh movie for me. It, it was kind of a, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. I didn't expect the time travel aspect. And I'm sorry if I'm spoiling a three-month-old movie. I apologize. But, yeah, you know, it just wasn't quite as a, a big of a, big of an end to the franchise or to the phase as I thought it was going to be. I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, you know when I did my review a couple months ago, I said, it's going to sit, I'm going to sit at like a six. And I'll see if it falls. And I, I might have, I might have given it higher and then dropped down to a six. I think it's sitting right around a five now that I think about it. <sighs> so yeah, tell me what you guys think. <laughs> There's just list the cast. Yes, list the cast here. I thought you were going to give me something interesting. And and that's that's kind of the problem. They're not giving us a lot of interesting stuff. We could have gotten the next Guardians movie announced. But no, we got Lady Thor. We didn't want Lady Thor. And yeah, I'm calling her Lady Thor. I didn't care about Jane Foster. I don't remember her. It's been so long I've seen her. Give me, the, give me the characters I care about. Give me more Guardians. Give me more Chris Hemsworth with the Guardians. That's what I wanted. And that's what you guys set it up for. And, and I'm really disappointed. I don't have a whole lot of hope for the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this point. I think it might be it might be time to kind of step back. 
I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see. We we haven't seen any trailers yet for the Lady Thor. We haven't seen whether where they're going with a lot of this. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am Becca Random 42 and I will see you guys on the next video live stream next week, Star Trek Las Vegas. So I will be there the end of end of uh, July, beginning of August, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.